And, uh, that's exactly what she did here. So moving on now to the next event, we're going to bring you swishing over to the men's side of the meet. It's the 200 metres freestyle, and there in lane five, you can see great expectations here for Yannick Agnell of France. How fast can he go? And uh, the, 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 him and his um, training partner, or stable mate, should I say, at the Nice Club, are both in attendance here in Berlin for the first time since uh, the Olympics, that golden summer that they had. And um, although Yannick Agnel was not the fastest this morning, Darian Townsend was, and uh, Townsend from the Republic of South Africa is the fastest currently in the world. But uh, up until now, Townsend hasn't had anyone near the uh, pedigree of Yannick Agnel next to him. So there's Thomas de Sonia top five so far this year 143.84 that's the fifth fastest mark in the world currently there's the number one Darian Townsend and he's taken gold on all but one occasion in the first four meets on the World Cup circuit this year there he is Yannick Agnell what an absolute superstar is he going to bring this place alight Paul Biederman, he's inside the top ten at the moment. Eighth fastest in the world with the 144.49 that he achieved in Moscow a few days ago. He's the world record holder and the World Cup record holder. And Daniel Skarning of Denmark in lane seven. And, uh, and finally, out there in lane eight, it's Vinicius Vakid of Brazil. And uh, he's just inside the top 20, currently 18th fastest in the world with the 145.38 that he made in Brazil in August. So much has been said about uh, Yannick Agnel in recent months. Let's see what he's got in the tank for this one. His first outing on the uh, short course season. Now, will he start it off with... Uh, an explosive 200 meters free start. Well, if uh, Paul Biederman has anything to say about it, he'll try to beat him into second place. So, eight laps of the pool in this mid distance freestyle event. And uh, this is the favored distance of Yannick Agnel. And, uh, Already, you see him in the blue cap there, nearest to you, looking pretty good. But uh, just staying in the thick of it at the moment, or Sonia first to turn, and Townsend and Aniel just behind. Well, Biederman, who's the 200 and 400 freestyle world record holder, was off his form in London when Aniel was setting the world alight. And uh, he didn't even make it into the 400 free final there. And he was out of the medal chase in the 202. So how will he do here alongside the Olympic champion? And uh, Darian Townsend too. He's the lone South African out here on the World Cup circuit at the moment. He ranked seventh last year. And he's been having a sterling experience thus far in the FINA Arena Swimming World Cup. So Townsend starting to make his move now. A quarter of a second ahead of the Sonia. And Yell just a couple of attempts back from there in third. So as they come up for this turn. They will head for home. Now, who's got what it takes to claim the top spot on the podium? And it's looking very close indeed. But, uh, well, what a way to win. Just turns it on at the end of the last 15 metres and just blasts the rest of the field out of the water, looking very comfortable. And it's a 142.10. And that is world class. Well, he just uh, bided his time, didn't he? Paced it just about right and just edged away for the win beating uh, Biederman and Townsend in the process.
But there's a confirmation, 142.10. And, um, well, that's the fastest in the world this year.